<laughs> I don't need to tell you how important it is that ships stay stable at sea. You only have to balance on one of these to know how difficult it is. <laughs> With me sitting here, you can see that when my body moves to one side, I'm trying to move back to the centre line, just like a pendulum. And that's how it works for ships. We also have a centre of gravity, and ships also have a centre of buoyancy. You can get an idea how this works with a simple model. Here is the balance point, and roughly here is the centre of gravity. When you push it off centre, it tries to return. The centre line here shows how it's always trying to swing back to keep the centre of gravity below the balance point. Because both of these are in different places, it means one pulls on the other. On a ship or boat, this is usually reversed. Except this is where it gets interesting. The centre of buoyancy changes, but the centre of gravity doesn't. I am simplifying this to make it easy to explain. What happens is a ship rotates around the roll centre. Like the centre of buoyancy, this moves. But to show you the principle, we're keeping it in one place here, marked by the X. As a ship rolls to the side, the roll centre and the centre of buoyancy pull the centre of gravity back into the upright, similar to the balance toy from earlier. And that is how a boat stays upright. <laughs>